you're a girl like me because <laughs> mama been grown for a long time, okay? I would like to get to know hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am bringing you a video about five affordable fragrances that you should have in your collection so are you like one of them girls who love a good fragrance we love to smell good but you're not quite killian love don't be shy fragrance girl yet like let's say we haven't stepped into that tax bracket of fragrances um I have the perfect fragrances that are really, really affordable. So first up, I am going to review for you guys Ariana Grande Perfume Cloud. Now, I know there's been a lot of talk about this. And as you can see, she's one of my favorite. She that girl. Y'all see, it's not nothing in there. Barely nothing in there. But this is how it comes. This sits inside of a white cloud. I'm going to be popping in the amount of each fragrance at the bottom of the screen. Um, but this perfume has been referenced and compared to um, the Baccarat 540. If you don't know what Baccarat is, it's a much more expensive. It's uh, starting at about two to three hundred dollars, depending on the ounces. But this does smell very similar. Now, I do have the Baccarat as well. Um, so, I, what I can say the difference is is first of all, it's um, not as long lasting. So you definitely get what you pay for. This is something I will wear maybe three to four hours. I maybe need to touch up my perfume hint hint at why it's all gone this is a relatively new bottle so you want to make sure this bottle is the smaller bottle i want to say 1.7 ounces i'm don't give me the lion i'm not sure um but i'll definitely um list that in the description for you as well so i wanted to go oh why these fragrances are my favorite okay so um let me go over some of the key notes if you um, aren't familiar with the notes notes are basically the ingredients and the things that you are smelling when you are trying different perfumes okay so they break it down um into three different sections you have the top note middle note and then the bottom each note has um, more than one ingredient giving you um different phases of the scent right so initially what did you what did you smell when you first spray on your perfume versus that middle note that is in or an that middle note is what warms up to your natural body chemistry and it kind of clings to that and you can smell that usually throughout the day so then you have your base note as well base note is going to be that bottom ingredient that makes all of the top and middle notes spark off so that's usually the the underground notes that gives everything its structure so for the ariana grande cloud i have my notes here in regards to the fragrances so don't mind me if i'm looking down but this fragrance family it's in the oriental fragrance family that's how they have it broke down in the description it is inspiring dreamy and playful the sense is gourmand um, if you like gourmand fragrances then you would definitely love this because usually any fragrance that has um the scent type is gourmand it's usually like one of my fra my favorites it smells really clean light and airy it's not one of those spicy you know perfumes that you basically wear at night it's not thick i'll put it like that um so the top notes is lavender blossom juicy pear bergamot heart um creme de coconut and Doldrit Parlene, I don't know if I'm saying that correct, um, Vanilla, and Orchid. And then the base notes of these is Essential Musk and Creamy Blonde Woods. It's two different, two different base notes. Okay, so it doesn't give you a middle note. It just gives you the top notes and then the base note. You guys have to try this out. 
So if you are skeptical about Baccarat and you want to just try that type of scent out, because I'm not going to say that it's the exact same because it's not, but it's a fraction of the price and it does come really close to the fragrance. It will not last. Um, it does not have the same quality. Um, so don't expect that. I love that. I will continue to buy it um, because I don't like to use my Baccarat on a consistent basis. Um, this is a way that I can get that scent and I fly through this all of the time, okay? So, love the Ariana Grande Cloud. Definitely go try that out when you get a chance. Next up, my favorite is going to be, another favorite of mine is going to be the Jimmy Choo Illicit. So, this is how it comes. This is another one that is almost gone, you guys. But it's really hard for me to find this now. This sells out really, really fast. But you can, in fact, find this in, like, Target, Marshalls. I love it. Jimmy Choo Illicit. Now, this is not the Illicit Flower. As you can see, the liquid is a little bit darker, darker than the Illicit Flower. The Illicit Flower is very pink. And this has more of a rose gold tone to it. So... The illicit flower is a piggyback off of just the regular illicit. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it and let's see what they say about the Jimmy Choo illicit. I love this fragrance. This fragrance is sweet and spicy. It's a floral scent. This is like the Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande scent was a gourmand. This is going to be more floral. Now I can remember being younger and thinking to myself, I don't like flowery smelling things right so then once I start getting more into fragrances and diving into it the things that I like really had a base note of floral um so this is something I like because it's really light and airy and you guys would be surprised at things that are floral scents I promise you start looking at the notes in your perfume and it's going to blow your mind at the scents that you like and what they actually have in them so for the Jimmy Choo Illicit, again, as it states here, it's sweet and spicy. It's a floral scent and it opens up with a keynote of ginger and citrus, creating a sense of energy and freshness. It's very fresh. It's like that you just hopped out of the shower. It's a daytime scent if you ask me. I love it for being fresh out of the shower, um, lotion down, moisturize down, and pop that right on on top of my lotion or um, oils that I'm using. It's really fresh. Not a nighttime scent, but it can double as a nighttime scent because it's sweet and it's spicy. Um, what else do they have? It is on a deeper level. The perfume reveals a touch of sweet rose with jasmine and prime the primary vehicle that pulls out the elements together is a seductive honey. So, they don't break the Jimmy Choo um illicit down into key uh top, middle and base notes, but that is the description of the illicit. I love illicit. That's my go-to um when I want to smell grown, but I still want to be fresh and very clean smelling. So I love that. Again, that's the Jimmy Choo illicit. Y'all. The way I use this is insane, okay? I need to stop at this point. Like I seriously need to stop. Okay. So next up, I am going to be reviewing the Marc Jacobs Decadence. Tell me this bottle is not, let me tell you, this, the bottle and how it comes got me before I even knew what it smelled like. And it's like this little purse with this cute little tassel. You guys, this was my first grown woman scent. Oh, I thought I was so grown when I got this for the first time. Now it's just a staple. I keep this in my collection because it is, uh, it's like I'm grown and I'm a boss, okay? This fragrance gives me grown boss, okay? So in the Marc Jacob Decadence, let me tell you guys what the top notes are. It's plum, saffron, and iris. The middle notes are orange, jasmine, sambac, and Bulgarian Rose. Um, the base notes is uh, Vitier. Yeah, I believe it's Vitier. Or Vitier. Or, I don't know, guys. 
don't be mad at me. Um, a papyrus and liquid Dunbar. Liquid Dunbar? Liquid Dunbar? We gonna chill on them names, y'all. I'm gonna skip over them next time because, woo, they, they, they tripping me up. They tripping me up. But this fragrance is also a amber, amber floral. Love this fragrance, you guys. It is, it definitely is a nighttime scent. If you're going out and you wanna, want your presence to be felt when you walk in a room. It's that kind of fragrance. Like I said, it makes me feel like a boss babe. Like, it makes me feel like an adult. It's spicy, but it's floral and it's strong. So if you're a little bit more timid and you don't like the stronger scents, I definitely wouldn't go for the Marc Jacob Decadence, but Marc Jacob Decadence have several different, um, several different scents by the Marc Jacob Decadence. There's other scents that fall under just the Decadence. They have, um, you'll see this same packaging, but it has like pink here. And I think it's a little bit lighter than um, this scent. Like I said, this scent is very strong. It is not for the week. It is not for the week. But I love that. Like I said before, guys, the prices are going to be listed on the screen along with some of the notes. Okay? So, my next up, we have my newest baby. So, she is the newest. I love her. She's also giving boss babe, okay? She's also a floral. Like I said, I was one that, I was under, under the impression that I did not like florals. Start looking into these fragrances and they're mostly florals, okay? Love this. This is the Giorgio Armani My Way. Love this scent, you guys. Um, let's get right into it. This is a floral um, scent. It is a bergamot meets orange blossom. Love orange blossom and bergamot together. Um, it is the key notes on this floral. It's a woody. This is a woody floral. This isn't like fresh daisy rose floral. This is a woody floral. So it's a much more spicy. The top note is going to be bergamot and orange blossom, as I advise. Second note is tuberose and jasmine. And the base note is going to be cedarwood, vanilla, and white musk. First of all, I love a musk. So y'all just know this. This is like, it can be very mature. So let me say that. The Giorgio Armani, all of their fragrances to me are very mature. Um, like It's a woody scent. And if you could like imagine what that smells like, it's very spicy. Another base note in it is the cedar wood, but this isn't another one of those. This not for like the 25 and under. It's not a girl like me because <laughs> mama been grown for a long time. Okay, love the perfumes that my mom wore. So I think that's what made me like a more mature scent at a very young age. Um, so yeah, if you like mature scents, if you like those woody florals, definitely try out the Giorgio Armani, Armani, um, my way. Again, this is the packaging. It's gorgeous. I love the navy blue and the, um, it's like a rose gold and it has Armani across the top, but I love that. And last but not least, you guys, it's my favorite. You're going to say, I'm obsessed with Marc Jacobs. I know. I know. I know that's what y'all going to say. But I don't care. Last but not least, I had to save the best for last. It's the Marc Jacobs Perfect. First of all, can we talk about the bottle? Can we talk about the packaging? I love this scent. You guys love this scent okay so let's get right into it so idea once again that i was obsessed with floral this is a warm floral so as you guys can see there are different um categories for floral you have the warm floral you have the um woody floral and then just the regular floral that's really light and airy so this the top note is rhubarb and daffodil 
middle note is almond milk and cashmere i feel like this scent you can really smell the almond milk and uh, cashmere this is my favorite you guys this is one of those scents that's really like um it's a winter scent almost it's really warm um and i feel like yeah it's really warm it's really warm and yeah, i feel like you can wear it in the summertime but depending on the day and the vibe right um so this is beautiful i love this it's a really warm scent definitely i will wear it in the spring in the summer all depends on your preference on how you like to smell definitely a strong staple scent you can smell this all day this is why this is my favorite it's because it is long lasting you guys i mean when i take my jacket off after a night of going out the next couple days i can come back to that same jacket a week later and that jacket okay so like i said it's definitely a scent that you can come back to your clothes and it's still going to be very strong and prevalent um it is a a beautiful scent you guys so i definitely recommend you guys go out get the mark jacob perfect it's gonna be a game changer for you scent wise if you've just never tried it out and like i said it's the most long lasting out of all of the scents that i have shared with you guys today i hope you guys like this type of video i'm switching it up trying new things and i hope you guys love it tell me what you guys think of the new lighting and the whole new little setup it's been pretty much the same the past couple videos but i don't think i asked you guys your opinion let me know if you guys have tried the any of these scents let me know what your opinion is on them um if you like them if you feel like there's a dupe for one of them that you prefer over the other i'm going to be trying out some new scents this month um ordering a few different ones that i've never tried i know i want to try the ebony wood from um from Zara um they say that's a good scent to mix with your other scents I got that from Kyra Amanique if you guys follow her let me know if you guys are up on this different scent recommendations she's throwing out thrown out there I also want to try some um, more upscale scents so as I'm getting those um I'll share with you guys how I like those as well I love these type of videos. I watch these all the time, but I'm not sure how my community is going to receive these, but I love them. Definitely try out these scents. Let me know if you guys have these scents, which one's your favorite. Um, and like I said, if you have a dupe for one of these that you prefer over, you know, one of the ones that I've shared with you today, is spill that tea, girl. Let me know what I need to go get because we all love smelling good. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and stop being weird. Go like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let's chit chat in the comments. I respond to everybody all the time. So no need to be weird. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified when another video is being uploaded. And thank you guys again for watching this video. See you guys later. Talk to you next time. Bye. I would like to get to know